so Mihalis surfaces to start his next job. Cleaning the fish, barely, to prepare a traditional fisherman's stew. Everything caught this morning will go into this concoction, including heads, fins, maw, and bones. While he's cooking, the rest of us start with an au naturel raw bar. First up, black sea urchin. Inside these forbidding balls of spindles lie a real delicacy. Look at that. Do you see those orange strips running down the side? Those are the little row sacks. And you eat those. They're very small, but they're very, very tasty. But you could sit down with that and just park a whole bunch of these away. And you're good in it. Oh, you want to try one? Well. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is heavenly. That's delicious. That is right? heavenly. Now that tastes. To die for. That tastes buttery and delicious. Sweet. Yeah. I like that. Sure. The strangest is Fuscus. They grow in these closed shells. They look like rocks, but they're soft. It's a sea squirt. And you can use your finger to scoop it out. That's very good. I've scooped my share of nasty critters. You may need but this was different than those other times. I wouldn't necessarily call this an easy dish to put it down. It is not, no. The more I try the Fuscus, actually, the more I hate it. It's strong. It tastes like a fish's ass dipped in iodine. Yeah. <laughs> and it's very, very bitter. You know, I mean, just filthy, disgusting. Now try packing these fuscus in salt, olive oil, and lemon, and leave that sitting out for months, like they did on long sponge diving trips, without any refrigeration. This is spignalo. This qualifies as one of the, of the world's completely strangest foods.